Quran and a as a Quran, yes, Quran as Quran, right? As guidance and Quran. So the prayer is answered in this month of Ramadan. It's the revelation of Quran that transformed Muhammad, the truthful, good business person, into Prophet Muhammad in the seal of the Prophet. It was Quran that made him the messenger of Allah. It was in this month when he got the first five verses that made him that brought about the metamorphosis. There was something going on in that cave. There was a transformation, a metamorphosis, stage by stage, going on in that cave. But when he got the revelation, now he flies out like that beautiful butterfly, right? That's what a metamorphosis is. They go through a cocoon, etc., etc. This is Muhammad over the 40 years. But in that cave, in that powerful night, with the revelation, now he flies out of that cave now as Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa that beautiful butterfly. Flying all over the place, right? Good to look at. So many beautifuls of Muhammad the prophet. It was there where the metamorphosis came to his fullness. In this month, Ramadan, the ninth month of the Islamic calendar. Now we're going this way. Now, what was said? What brought about this? Now remember, the prayer is for him to have knowledge, wisdom, right? Look how it all connects. In the surah, Ikra, how you gonna have knowledge? How you gonna have wisdom if you don't read? So, so, so the first revelation that connects to the knowledge, the wisdom is what? It said, Jabril came to him and squeezed him and said, Ikra. Read. I can't read, right? <laughs> this is metamorphosis. This is growth. He said, I can't read. They say, Ikra, read. But he's pressing him, squeezing him in the ninth month. In the ninth month. You know, it's like the sisters know better than us and those in Finland. Push! Ah! <laughs> and baby slide back up. Breathe! Squeeze them. Right? They say, Ikra, breathe. Can't we push? One more time. So it's to call on God, right? Oh, Lord, help me. Get this baby out here. So then I say, Ikra, bitch, be ready to let it go. Read in the name of your Lord. Then he starts to read, right? So that's the first. So he's born in this ninth month into prophethood just like that baby is born, right? Now, but look, he's, but he's one coming to teach the book and the wisdom. If you don't read, you can't teach nothing. You ain't getting no wisdom if you ain't a reader, if you don't develop your mind. So that's the connection. So he says, Ikra bismi rebi kalali kala. Kala darling, said I'm in Allah. Don't just read. Read in the name of your Lord who created you. But read in the name of your Lord who's most gracious and generous. Gave you his creation. Gave you all the signs and everything that you need to read, right? So generous. And he said, Ikra, Barakopel Akram, and Levi, Adamel, and Talam. Taught you how to write it down. If, he could, if they didn't write it down, we would have crowd now. Taught man the use of the pen and taught him what he didn't know before. You see how it went now? So it goes from him praying for this. It happened in this month, this precious month. This is a month of education, brothers and sisters. Prayer, reflection, giving, fasting, knowledge, education. But this happened according to Allah and Muhammad the Prophet relaying this, not just in the month of Ramadan, but at a particular point, a particular time, a designated time, a determined time, a powerful time, where it appears as if the whole universe, from the past, even at his present, from way back to Adam, right? Up to Noah, right? Up to Jonah, right? Up to Moses and Aaron and Idris, right? Up to all of them. That it seems from all of them, their 
and knowledge in their spirit. At that time in Ramadan, the whole creation focused on that man in that cave called the Knight of Power, Leotol Kara. Huh, the focus, the concentration right on that man. So then Allah says in Quran, right next to the Surah Ikra, He says, In the Amazonah who failed to we sent it down in the night of power. But He don't leave us, and He said, Okay, now, this is about learning. So He wants you to think. Well, man at law, that man lay little too good. Well, well, we'll explain to you what the night of power is. See, this is about education. Read, really think. <coughs> it's good to ask the question, well, what is this night of power? Well, I'll put it for you. Well, man at law, that man lay little too good. Well, we'll explain to you what the night of power is. And he doesn't give a long, detailed explanation, does he? He says, lay little too good, I'll tell you, man, I'll be sure. It's better than a thousand months. No long detail. Well, we'll explain to you what it is. Lay on to cut a tight room and out to shut. That it is better than a thousand months brought together. See, the language of the Quran lets you know it's not a thousand months over scattered, over a 10,000 year period. It says men alphi. Aleph is the first letter of the alphabet. Alphi shah. It means it means a thousand. But it means yes, alfi shah means brought together. You know, li ilafi koraish. Koraish. That's surah. For the composing, the bringing together of the parts. Li ilafi aleph. For the composing to bring together of the quarries. So now he says, he says, Lelo to Kara Kairo men out be sure. It's better than a thousand months combined. So you do the math. They tell us a thousand months together is 83 years. You see, you combine them. Do the math. So a thousand months is 83 years. That one night is better than, a, than 83 years, a lifetime. <laughs> and for some of us, two lifetimes. For <laughs> well, Shaitan and did his thing, and a lot of us don't live that long. But back then, that was definitely more than a lifetime. So this one night, in this ninth month, in that time of delivery, that it is better than a thousand months. Now, why is that? Now he goes on, he says, Tenezelu, Melari Ketu, Ruhu, Fi Habi, Itni, Rabi, Him, and Kuli, Because on that night, therein comes down the spirit and the angel be Itni by the permission, not on their own. That they come to Nazalu, descending, that they come down. That it doesn't say Nazala, it came down. To Nazalu is present and future. It comes down. That's why I say you want to be in the masculine through a night of power, because it's not Nazala, like in the past. Tanzilu. Now it comes down. The angels and the spirit be if the law by the permission of Allah, obeying every command. Not questioning anything. So in that night, the law said, bring a blessing to Tariq. Bring a blessing to Hakeem. Bring a blessing to Amir. Bring a blessing to Ozma. Bring a blessing to Saman. Bring a blessing to Mustafa and Wali. Bring a blessing to a, a blessing, a benefit to the sister Hassan, Amira, etc. It's done. So you want to be in the right spirit so that when that command is given, you got it. And Allah says in Quran, whatever he wished for you, there's none can withhold it, right? And whatever he withhold, there's none that can give it to you. That's Quran. That's this book. That's our religion. Alhamdulillah. 
So when you got something like that, how you gonna have a secret? How you gonna say this is a secret? <laughs> how you can't hold it to yourself? That's why I say our doors open. It's for everybody. We have nothing to hide. In fact, we can hide it if we want to. <laughs> See, I got to tell somebody. And Allah says it in Surah Duha, right? He said, explain the enigma of Allah. Report it. Tell people the favors of Allah. See how pretty for it is. Now, after that, look how it closes. Look how it closes. Now, all this is happening, Abraham prayed for it. And it's being answered here, this way, in this month. Then it ends this way. To show you how merciful Allah says, Salamu. <laughs> Salamu, right? Peace. Salamu here, had the Vettel and Fajr. Peace until the rise of Fajr. I'm really loving Vettel and Fajr. So I think we got it. That the prayer was made a long time ago. And Allah answered the prayer of Ibrahim in Muhammad the prophet. But it was done in this month, Ramadan, when he became the prophet, when the revelation came. Now that night of power, it ends. Salamu, right? He had had the Mecca and Fajr. Now we can't do it now, but when you study, if it ends in the word Fajr, then you think about Fajr, or you go to the end, or you go to the chapter Fajr. There's a chapter called Fajr. Now, 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 so it must be connected to Laylum to And it is. And Allah says, while well, Fajr, by the dawn. Well, lately, and, and, and by the ten nights, and we know the last ten nights, uh, uh, it is reported that the Quran came 